Which building method is best for your home? ICF, wood framing, or CBS, concrete block stucco? Let's break it down. My name is Mark Denise. Welcome back to the Tritown Construction Channel, where we are rebuilding the Gulf Coast one home at a time. What is ICF construction? ICF is insulated concrete forms. So you can think of these as forms that hold the concrete in place and stay there for the life of the home. This is a 100 and 150 year product. This is the most durable product out there. You have six inches of solid poured concrete on all the perimeter walls with five inches of insulation, two and a half on each side. There is no stronger, more energy efficient way to build than with ICF construction. Then you have wood framing. What is wood framing? Wood framing has been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Wood framing is just that. The structural walls are made of wood. Uh, the, the, there's two by six framing on the perimeter walls with sheathing, wood sheathing on the outside. This is the most cost-effective way of building. It's been here for so long, it does fluctuate based on the price of lumber. So the advantages of wood framing are, are costs, upfront costs. The disadvantages, they're not very efficient. There's a lot of air gappage, air leakage. Um, there's a lot of, it's susceptible to wood rot. They're susceptible to pests like termites. Over time, they become less strong and less reliable. The next and probably most commonly used is CBS construction. The difference between concrete block stucco and ICF is that concrete block are concrete walls, but they're not filled with concrete. Only certain cells are filled or certain parts of the wall. It's strong and it's durable, but it's nowhere near as strong as ICF solid poured six inches of concrete. It's not as efficient energy wise. It's hard to do a second or third floor with concrete block. So you'll see a combination of concrete block on the foundation floor, the ground floor, and then wood framing on top of that. That's very common. With ICF, we can go all the way up two, three, ten 10 floors of ICF and that will be solid poured concrete walls. Now, bringing that up a step, you put, call, you put solid poured floors and, and roof, you've got yourself a bunker there. But even without that, that is, you know, I think overkill. Without that, just having those solid poured walls in ICF, you just can't beat it. When comparing ICF to wood framing to CBS, there's a lot of cost differentials. So the least expensive option is going to be wood framing. And that does fluctuate due to uh, supply, demand, lumber, wood fluctuate. Right now, lumber is the least expensive way to build. A couple of reasons, you've got a lot of skilled carpenters out there. That's an old profession, old trade. So labor is not through the roof. The lumber is not through the roof expensive right now. So lumber framing, wood framing is still very popular. It's becoming less popular in South Florida because the hur the strengths of the hurricane. It's very hard to imagine a home built out of wood lasting for many, many years through the strengths of the hurricanes that we're having here. Then you have concrete block stucco. This is a little bit more expensive than wood framing, about 10% of the overall project. Uh, we have seen a lot of combination where you have concrete block on the ground floor and then wood framing on second and third. I really think that defeats the purpose of having, you know, concrete block or structurally sound home if you're adding wood framing on the second and third floor, but it's, it's a good hybrid. Uh, uh, concrete block stucco, strong product, We've seen uh, recently though, uh, her, uh, you know, tornadoes just, just sling two by fours and, and pieces of debris through the walls and there's big holes in the walls. The reason is these are not solid poured walls. They're concrete block. And if we've all seen a concrete block before, they're hollow. There's concrete and inside it's empty. So it, it creates great structural 
up and down weight, but velocity go going through the walls, they can be penetrated more easily than solid poured walls. The next is ICF. Yes, it's the most expensive, but the value compared to the other two is there. I'm gonna say ICF is about 10% more than a concrete block home. So you would say about 20% more than a wood frame home. But over time, energy expenses, peace of mind, insurance costs, noise pollution, air quality, speed to build. You know, these things are so light, the forms are so light that stacking them on top of each other uh, really moves quickly. ICF is becoming the more popular way to build on the Gulf Coast in South Florida because of just the strength and durability. 200 plus mile per hour wind rating. I think it's actually 220. You know, these storms we've had keep creeping up and you know, they were at 160, 170. That's a very, very intense storm. And you know, actually another really great product or uh, reason is these walls can get wet and dry out, right? So on the ground floor, we've had a lot of flooding recently. The, these, we build the ground floor so it can flood and the water can recede. We give it a good pressure wash and good as new. There is no need to replace drywall or replace wood framing or um, anything like that. So ICF is becoming more and more hurricane resistant, flood resistant, and and just a overall really great products energy efficiency when it comes to building with wood framing cbs for icf you know wood framing there's gaps throughout the project where two pieces of plywood meet on the sheathing where possibly a electrical outlet came through the wall these don't get sealed properly often. There is just a tremendous amount of airflow that's going from inside to outside of the home. Every time the AC kicks on and sucks air, it's sucking it in from the outside. <clears throat> this, this creates a huge energy inefficiency and energy bills are higher, insulation, your AC runs harder. Um, and won't, we won't, will not last as long, you know, uh, just because it's worked so hard compared to other ways of building concrete block stucco. Again, there's a, there are air gaps in concrete block stucco. You also usually don't put installation on the outside of the wall, the exterior of the wall. And on the interior, you have maybe a three quarters of an inch of insulation that goes between the furring strips. ICF, solid poured walls, solid insulation on the inside and on the outside. You have two and a half inches on both sides. If you do drill through it to get some conduit through or electrical, it's very easy to uh, use great stuff or foam and uh, fill those gaps. It, it's very easily done. And this creates an airtight home. With that, you know, air quality, noise pollution, um, energy efficiency with your AC unit, with the hot water heater not being exposed to the pipes. You know, it's just, um, you know, a superior built home when you're dealing with ICF construction. Durability when building with ICF, concrete block stucco, wood frame. The least durable is going to be wood frame. Over time, wood is more susceptible to rot. It's more susceptible to pest termites so over time this home a wood frame home becomes less and less durable and strong so if you're putting two homes side by side on day one they should be just as strong as one another but when you advance time 5 10 15 years that changes completely same with insurance costs on day one insurance costs are going to be very similar but 5 10 15 years down the road they're not going to be similar. Solid poured concrete or wood framing, wood framing are, are going to have a much higher cream. Next is CBS construction. If you have an all block home, uh, it is harder and more expensive to go two on three floors with concrete block just because the weight of the block and the weight of the rebar. We can go two, three, four solid concrete poured walls. Uh, 
150 year product. These do not rot. They do not lose. They don't degrade in strength. They are the way they're built uh, until you decide to take it down or someone decides to take it down because they're going to outlast anybody watching this video. They are that strong and um, they, it's just a phenomenal product. Construction time and, and availability of building products. Right now, there aren't many uh, supply chain disruptions. We're getting supplies pretty easy. Uh, that changes quickly though. You know, another storm in another part of the country or um, as these storms start ramp ramping up on rebuilds, you, you never know what's uh, going to be uh, a shortage of wood. Wood is grown, you know, it, it fl price fluctuates on demand. Concrete block, we were having a lot of problems finding concrete block two, three, four years ago. ICF is made, uh, they've got plants throughout the country. Uh, you know, as ICF becomes more popular, it could have shortages too. I, I don't know enough on either of any of the products at, you know, in the future, what the future holds. Right now, all three products are available. Uh, wood fluctuates the most on pricing and, you know, speed of material is available. Now, labor, ICF labor is more skilled labor. It's harder to find. It's, uh, it sometimes drives the price up, but that's changing. As ICF becomes more popular, more prevalent, more labor is learning how to do it and more skilled labor is coming to the market. Wood framing, the problem with wood framing is, you know, everybody knows how to wood frame and many of them really don't know. So you have to know what you're looking for, who you're hiring, just because it's so important when they're building that they do it right. And, and you know, it's like painting. Everyone can paint, you know, that's becoming carpenter. Everyone thinks they're a carpenter and they can frame a house. And, you know, then you're sitting in the house kind of crooked because uh, it wasn't done right. Environmental impacts. Wood is a resource that we use plenty of. We're trying to use less and you know, it's, uh, there's not an infinite amount out there. So the less wood we can use, the better. The we we're never going to get rid of using wood, but there are some much better products. CBS construction, you know, it's just so heavy and transportation costs are huge. Uh, bringing it to the landfill is huge. ICF, the, the foam, people say the foam, you know, we, it doesn't deteriorate. It's 150 years product. The thing is, if the home is designed properly with the walls, you should have less than two bags of trash for all the wall frame. Uh, so, you know, that saves a huge amount of space in the landfill, that saves huge amounts of costs for dumpsters. Just the energy efficiency of the home, uh, the, the AC cost, the energy usage rate, uh, just, you know, really outweighs and is far more energy efficient and sustainable than any other product out there. So, which is best for you? You know, there's pros and cons of each. Uh, wood framing cost, costs more easy to build with, uh, readily available. Durability is in question after a certain amount of time. Susceptible to wood freight, to wood rot, to pests. Concrete block stucco, strong, durable, not as energy efficient, you know, hard to work with. Sometimes it's very heavy. Transportation costs, ICF. Expensive, more expensive, very durable, very energy efficient. Uh, this is for, you know, people who are gonna hold their home for a long time or a while and are gonna live in their home. But again, all three have been around for a very long time. All three are good ways to build. You just have to decide which features are most important to you when making that decision. I gave you a great overview on ICF, wood frame, concrete block, stucco construction. That's why I filmed an entire series that goes deeper into each one of these topics. Click the video on your screen right now and start your journey.